of how to live in the world while doing bhakti. And Naraji said, giving us a working definition, Loke vedeshu tad anukula charanam tad virodhi shudasinata That we should do that laukik karma and that vaidik karma which is anukul to our bhakti. So, bhakti is the priority, then whatever we have to do to keep our life in balance so that we can keep doing our bhakti, we do that, whatever laukik karma, whatever vaidik karma. Now, the scriptures are full of many kinds of rules and regulations um, for how to live and, and how to worship God, worshiping formalities, religious formalities, which the one who's following the path of Raga Nuga Bhakti is beyond. So he's not karmically bound to follow those rules. Meaning, I don't mean basic rules of good behavior, those everyone has to follow. But rules like you have to fast on Ekadashi. The one who's doing Raga Nuga Bhakti is beyond that rule. That's for someone who hasn't yet embarked on the path of Raga Nuga Bhakti. All those rules. Now, what about the Shastras? Someone could ask that uh, Shastra Yunitvat. Vedanta Sutra says the Shastras are the basis for our faith in God. They're the origin of our knowledge about God and the path to God and how to live in the world. 
So if uh, we're saying I'm going to do, I'm going to follow those rules of the Vedas which are anukul to my bhakti and the rest I'm going to ignore. That's exactly what Nadaji is telling us to do. So someone could say, what's going to happen to the scriptures? If people start, if everybody stops following uh, what's written in the Vedas because they're imitating you, what's going to happen? So should someone consider that? Should someone think, oh, I have to set an example for the world? Nadaji says, bhavatu. He says, yeah, I knew you would ask that question. Someone would ask that question. Bhavatu. Nishchaya Dardhya Durdham Shastra Rakshanam. He says, after Dridha Nishchaya, then you can worry about Shastra Rakshanam. Dridha Nishchaya means when you're you've made up your mind 100 percent and nothing can shake you from this path. No, nothing could put a doubt in your mind, nothing could confuse you. So what, when is this? This is God-realization. So what he's saying is, after God-realization, then you worry about Shastra Rakshanam. In other words, leave that up to Krishna and his saints. They look after Dharma Sansthapanarthaya Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. Krishna says, if I want to establish Dharma in the world, I myself come or I send my saints. You think an ordinary soul God is going to give that job, a maya-bound soul with all his uh, worldly desires and mayic afflictions in his head. Hey, establish the dharma in the world. No, no way. We, until we get to that point where we're unshakable, in other words, after God-realization, we have to worry about our own progress on the path. So, Kripaluji Maharaj gives an analogy here. He says, if you add water to the milk, you've ruined the milk. But if you make that milk into ghee, then add water to it, no problem. The water can't do anything to the ghee in that point. But if before it's made into ghee, if you pour a bunch of water in the milk, then there's no way to get it out. There's no way to separate it. So once we become God-realized, we have nothing to worry about. A saint can do any kind of acting in the world. A saint can act like a greedy person, that doesn't affect him inside. He's still 100%, his mind is established in God. It's called perfect nishta, Brahma nisht. The saint is Brahma nisht. On the inside, he's one with God. He can act like a greedy person, he can act like a lustful person, he can act like an angry person. It doesn't matter to the saint. He can do any kind of acting in the world. But if we try to do some kind of acting in the world to set an example, we'll end up getting attached or getting some doubt in our mind or getting distracted and we'll end up not reaching the goal of our path in this lifetime. So in the next sutra, Naraji says, Anyatha patitya shankaya. If you try to do this shastra rakshanam or um, like set an example for others, worrying about all of that, he says you could fall. Patitya. Shankaya, you get some doubt in your mind and you fall or you get attached to something. So, we have to worry about our progress on the path of Raganuga Bhakti and leave the rest up to Krishna and the saints.